Saban is finally closing down. That's right, the company that brought you Big Bad Beetleborgs, Masked Rider, VR Troopers, the Digimon dub, the Digimon Adventure 2 dub, Digimon Tamers dub, the Digimon Frontier dub, and of course, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is shutting down after so many years. And it kind of sucks for their employees and for a lot of people who watched a lot of Saban stuff growing up, including myself. Now this was reported on Anime News Network a few hours ago, probably a day later or two if you watch my videos randomly or you find them by random. Now let's go over this article together. LA Business Journal Saban Brands Company shuts down in July. The Los Angeles Business Journal newspaper reported on Wednesday that Saban Brands Company will shut down on July 2nd, so that's in roughly two months I believe, signing a worker adjustment retaining notification letter sent out to the state of California and dated May 1st. So all their employees got their letter roughly around May 1st, and May 1st was the day when Hasbro announced they were buying the Power Engine brand. So they would have sent this letter out roughly around the same time. As part of the shutdown, the company is laying off 60 employees with positions ranging from creative director to financial, financial analysis to director of accounting. Saban Brands will lay off 51 of their 60 employees July 2nd. Saban Capital Group, the parent company of Saban Brands, will remain open. Now, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm very mixed right now. I'm sad that Saban is shutting down, and then there's another part of me where I thought this was bound to happen after they sold the Power Rangers brand to Hasbro, because Power Rangers is what made Saban, so I was curious why they would sell that, what they would do after selling Power Rangers off. I didn't know if they had any projects lined up, which shows they didn't. So who knows what I wondered what they were going to do after selling that brand to Hasbro and now we know they're shutting down and it's kind of sad you feel bad for all those employees getting laid off and unable to find jobs and I do hope those people find some jobs after being laid off or working for another big, co big company I'm sure they'll find some but I do wish them the best of luck and I do hope they find some sort of new job sooner than later so best of luck to them. But I'm glad that they didn't file for chapter number, whatever it's called, bankruptcy like four kids did many, many years ago, roughly around a decade when they filed for that chapter bankruptcy. I'm surprised that Saban was a good business owner, a smart business owner, and we'll say what you want about him. He was smart enough to keep the business afloat for so many years. He took a franchise took a gamble with it and it turned into like the biggest pop sensation of the 90s and it's still running to this very day so props to him that he took a brand and made millions and millions of dollars but anyways i'll make this video very short what are your thoughts on saban closing doors and shutting down tell me in the comment section down below i'd love to hear your opinion i'll interact with you and reply back to you if you leave something smart or even if you don't leave something smart i'll do my best to reply to you anyways thanks for watching and have a wonderful day